All right, today we're going to be changing oil on the Kawasaki Prairie 400 four-wheel. This is a four-wheel drive model. Um, everything's gonna be the same as far as changing oil on the two and the four-wheel drive model, except for uh, obviously the two-wheel drive, you don't have the front differential. So engine oil, we're gonna take a 14 millimeter socket and a, a uh, socket wrench here and loosen up your drain plug. You wanna make sure that um, your, your socket is on there securely before you start turning that. Um, because sometimes these get fairly tight and uh, you don't want to round that screw off. It makes it very difficult uh, to get back in and the next time change oil unless you're going to replace it. So go ahead and drop your uh, drain plug down there. Uh, you don't want to drop it inside the oil, but then on these there is a crush washer. You want to replace this um, every time when you're changing oil as this acts as a seal and kind of mixes with the oil there. You can't really see it, but it acts as a seal for that um, bottom drain plug so that uh, if you put a new one in there every time they're they're extremely cheap you can get them at a dealership a lot of times you buy them in a 10 pack for a couple dollars but then you want to make sure you make sure that you don't have oil dripping um, if you're reusing this crush washer sometimes it's okay to use them uh, one or two times um, after your initial oil change but I like just like to change them every time and then then you don't have to worry about it. next thing you're gonna go up and you're gonna pull that um, oil filter and oil filters in front of the motor and it's right underneath directly underneath of the exhaust pipe and you can see the oil filter there I don't know with these everything that's here there's the well you still can't really see it can you there's the oil filter here so right above what they call the prop shaft here these ball these joints um, and it is right there. Take a pair of uh, large channel lock pliers. There's oil filter wrenches that you can fit on there. There's um, all different kinds. A lot of times uh, your auto parts store will carry those. Next thing you're gonna do is move to the back. You're gonna start draining the rear differential oil. This takes a um, 19 millimeter socket and there's a hole in the skid plate for this and you can, sometimes what I'll do is take the skid plate off because it uh, sometimes will catch a lot of the oil and it kind of drives me nuts when it's continuing to drip. You know what, this is, a, sorry, the, the drain plug on this is a 17 millimeter, the fill plug is a 19. So directly underneath here, and we'll see if you can see it there, is the drain bolt. Again, you don't have to take that skid plate off, it's not required to do that. Um, then here's where you fill it. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna break open this um, fill plug so you can see what's inside of there. But this is, this is the fill plug and it's also the check plug. And when you go to fill it, you fill it to the actual fill plug. So when oil starts coming out of the fill plug, you know that you are right where you need to be. So again, 19 millimeter socket, pull it out there. And it, this guy's got water in his rear end. And so it's actually too full and you can see here, his speedometer cable is off. And so what had happened is when it rains, every time you'd go through a creek or something like that, he'd get oil in his rear differential. He's gonna have some major problems in here, I'm guessing. You can see there's oil residue on these differentials and there's a, that's a common issue anyways. But I'm gonna wait till I get a drain pan over here and I'm gonna uh, pull this plug and, uh, and show you um, underneath there. Next we go to the front. Front differential is real similar to the rear differential as far as filling it up. Um, but as far as draining it, you've got a 10 millimeter plug on this one and it's directly underneath on the left hand side of this differential. Um, if you can see it there, it's right underneath this uh, axle on the left hand side. So it's a 10 millimeter, you come from the bottom, you, you pull that drain plug there and 10 millimeter wrench is what you're probably gonna wanna use and then uh, same thing with the fill plug that is here. And you go ahead and fill that fill plug up until oil is coming out of the fill plug. And then you know that you're full. And again, we won't do that until we have the drain plug over here, but then you, then you fill them up. Uh, you wanna use a uh, very thick oil. It's a, a 80 weight, 90. Uh, gear oil, gear saver, there's all, all different kinds of brands make them. A lot of auto parts stores sell them, but you don't want to use um, the automotive 
oil, you want to make sure that you use ATV differential oil. And it, comment below if, if uh, you have questions on what kind of oil you need to use on that. I can give you some recommendations. So we've got, uh, we'll put drain plugs back in on the engine oil. We'll put the oil filter back on. And then you'll go over here on the left-hand side of the four-wheeler. And you'll fill up your, uh, where your dipstick is here. It takes 3.4 quarts. And what I do when I'm changing oil filter, which I do every time, um, I'll put that 3.4 liters in there. I'll run the start the four-wheeler, run it for um, a minute or two, shut it off, uh, let it cool down for 30 seconds to a minute, and then go ahead and check it on the dipstick. You can see a high and a low mark on the dipstick. You want to be between those when you're checking that oil. Air filter then, we've got, um, you don't have to remove any of the plastics. We've got the plastic removed for other reasons, but we've got four clips on the air filter here. And uh, you undo those four clips, pull this cover off there, and your oil filter is directly underneath there. And you want to make sure that, did I say air filter or oil filter? Your air filter is directly underneath of here. Um, you want to make sure that going back together, you clean it with, with the correct kind of solvent. Again, comment below, and I'll tell you some recommendations for oil. And then you want oil cleaner, and then oil when you go back in there. And I'll, the, how you do that, you just spray a little bit of oil on that oil filter, and you kind of wring it out. You don't want to twist and squeeze that air filter or you will, um, you'll ruin that filter, but you can um, um, kind of wring it out in a way, spread it out. Your spark plug then, again, you don't have to take fenders off to do this, but a lot of times you'll come in from uh, in front of the, the left-hand footwell, spark plug's underneath of here, pull the cap, and you put a socket on there, and you loosen it up, and I believe, uh, I'll have to double check size on this. I think it's going to be a 15 millimeter. Must be a 16. Yep, 16 millimeter socket will fit on there. Go ahead and um, put an adapter on there and then you can pull that spark plug out. That is servicing a Kawasaki Prairie 400 four-wheeler.